What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. Y'all hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. So look, y'all, <laughs> I'm on a roll today. So Kevin Garnett has a show with Paul Pierce that they do, and it's a basketball show. They, they talk hoops. And so they were responding to Anthony Edwards, Ant-Man's comments about Michael Jordan being the only skilled player in the previous era. So Kevin Garnett goes a step beyond that. He says, he says, if I'm being honest, bro, I don't think anybody in this generation could have played like 20 years ago. Y'all see, this now is just becoming a race of who can be the most disrespectful between the younger generation and the older generation. Y'all couldn't have played when we played. You couldn't have played now. Y'all couldn't play now. It's going, it's just now he going tit for tat, right? I'm going to exclude LeBron James from this conversation. LeBron is going into what, his 21st year? So he was playing 20 years ago and was averaging a dub as a rookie. Let's go to Giannis Antetokounmpo. There is no way on God's green earth you're going to convince me that Giannis Antetokounmpo couldn't have played in the late 90s, early 2000s. You're not going to convince me that. Giannis is just as strong as those guys. He's more athletic. He's just as good as a defender as a lot of those guys were in rim protector and rim, and rim protector. He can run the floor like a gazelle, okay? The conditioning and shape that he's in with his body type, athleticism, he would have been a, a, a supernova during that era. Seriously, people marveled at Dikembe Mutombo, and Dikembe was an outstanding rim protector, outstanding. Giannis, can you imagine a dude who can get close to that? I'm not saying he's in the exact same realm. I'm not, right? But... He's a great defender. He won a Defensive Player of the Year trophy and Most Valuable Player trophy in the same year. Can you imagine a dude with that type of defensive instincts like a Dikembe Mutombo, but can also score the ball? Like, he can get you buckets. He ain't even a shooter, but he can get you buckets. Like, KG, don't do that. Don't do that, brother. Don't do that. You don't think Shea Gilgis Alexander could have hooped 20 years ago? Because I damn sure think he could. I, I believe so. Like you get, he's saying like, yo, do you play? They couldn't have, they couldn't have, they couldn't have played twenty years ago, brother. Twenty years ago, you had, and this is no disrespect, man. Twenty years ago, you had brothers on the team like Keith Bogans. Now, no disrespect to Keith. Come, like, come on, dog. Like they couldn't have played in the NBA. Keith was a role player. He played his role. You had, you had Othella Harrington in, in the league. Um. Uh, Bimbo Coles, Travis Best, um, Chicago, Melvin Eli now. No disrespect, dog. You don't think Shea Gilgis, Shea Gilgis Alexander and De'Aaron Fox could find their way on a roster and could have been very, very good. I ain't saying they would have been all they put. I'm not saying they would be putting the same numbers up that they put in now. But them boys would have been very productive in the league 20 years ago. You're not going to convince me they couldn't have. Let's go to DeMar DeRozan. Okay, DeMar is an aging star. Just got to Sacramento. DeMar's mid-range game is flawless. That was a key part of the NBA game during the 90s, early 2000s. You had to have a mid-range joint. Now it's really just it's three, three, three-point shot heavy. But DeMar got a mid-range. He can score. He can get to the basket almost when he wants to. He's athletic, can dunk with his elbows. He's quick. Like, bro, he could play 20 years ago. Let's go to a Jalen Brunson, right? Just got a big contract, deservingly so. Jalen is not supremely athletic. There's a lot of guards who were athletic during that time. But, like, you had a lot of guards who weren't really that athletic back then. You had some who weren't, who were very they, – they were high IQ players. They weren't the fastest. They weren't the strongest. They weren't the most athletic. Jalen is not the fastest. He's not the strongest. He's not the most athletic. He's a coach's kid, uh, uh, a former, not coach's kid, a former NBA player's son who figured out how to be very efficient, figured out how to get a bucket without being the tallest guy, without being, you know, the, the, the quickest guy, the most athletic guy, but can score from the mid-range, can, can shoot, can hit the three, can get anywhere he wants to get on the court without being super duper fast, right? So 
I believe Jalen Brunson could play 20 years ago. His father, Rick Brunson, did. He was a journeyman, but he played. And Jalen is much better than Rick Brunson ever was. Okay? Now, let's go to another, even the Jason, T oh, no, no. Let's go to Anthony Davis, okay? AD my age, 31 years old. People give AD flack for not being, you know, I guess tough enough. You know, he gets hurt a lot or whatever. Barring injury, Anthony Davis is playing 20 years from now. If Melvin Eli is around, Anthony Davis is damn sure around. With the defensive instincts that he has, his ability, his touch around the basket, okay? His touch around the basket, his ability to hit mid-range shots at time. Now that three ball, he got cut shooting them threes out, right? But come on, fam. His touch around the rim, defensive instincts, his length, the way he got them long arms to rim protect to alter shots. His ability, his long arms help him get putbacks, all of that. He's athletic. He has he has the, the ability to dribble the ball like a guard. AD does. He can't play 20 years ago, and he would have get he would have been giving dudes fits. Including the likes of a Dikembe Mutombo. I'm sorry. And I love Dikembe. Dikembe is all, a generational defender. Without question. All them blocks he got is, is, is warranted. Without question. But don't do that. 20 years ago is 2004. And, that, and, and then during that time period, AD still would have been getting to it. Okay? Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum. I'm not saying these guys would be um, superstars. Them boys can play. <laughs> they can play ball, man. They can hit shots. Uh, um, three shot, three point shots, mid range. They're very, very crafty offensively, and then defensively, they got the ability to shut dudes down. KG, how couldn't they play twenty years ago? Now let's go to Chicago's own Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose. Derek is, a, a, is, again, at the end of his career. But he's just saying, I don't think anybody in his generation could have played 20 years ago. Poole came into the league 2008. Barring injury, Derek Rose would have fucked a lot of them guards up. Excuse my language. Not being funny. Like, a Allen Iverson was giving them guards fits. And I love AI. AI is nowhere near as quick as Derek. He's very quick. He's very quick. Derek was a blur, a blur. Watch him dribble from end to end in three dribbles. He's more athletic than Allen Iverson. You see what I'm saying? More athletic. It's hard. To, it's hard to stay in front of a guard like that. Majority, them, not, none of them guards can stay in front of Derek. None of them could. Back then, even now, when he got into the league, he was abusing even all the top guards. Russell Westbrook, another aging star. Russ, like Russ IQ is not high. So, all right, that's not, we're not going to, you know, I'm not going to just act like it is. But athletically, physically, he's a specimen. Again, it's hard to stay in front of a dude like that. With that type, that type of athleticism at the guard position, at the one spot, had not been seen before Derek and before Russ. You know what I'm saying? At the one, bro, like, come on, man. Like, we're not going to do that. Again, agent star, Kevin Durant. Where, Like, he is the evolution of a lot of them jump shooting bigs that you saw. A dude that can dribble, that can pull up from 30. As soon as he crossed half court, it's lights out, baby. You in trouble. He in rhythm, you're in trouble. You cannot block his shot. He's 60, damn, six, damn, that's seven feet. What are you going to do? How? Especially pre Achilles in pre Achilles injury? What can you do? No. Yeah, you can be physical with him and all of that. But he could play, bro. He would have still been effective. Paul George. A defender, a dude that can hit the mid-range shot. Supremely athletic. That can drive to the cup. That can hit the occasional three. Like, we can't just be disrespectful like this. Like, like, yes. Ant said something very disrespectful. He said something that was wrong. He should be held accountable for it. He should be corrected. You know what I mean? And we can point out the, the errors in what he said, right? 
But Kevin Garnett is just as just as egregious with what he said. Now, again, Kevin Garnett, former league MVP, former defensive player of the year. All love to KG. Perennial all-star. All-time great power forward. I'm not taking that away from him. But KG, like, don't let Ant's, Ant's disrespect of the older generation allow you to disrespect the younger generation. Yeah, not everybody would have been a star. Not everybody would have been just a, a dog. But, bro, you said you don't think anybody in this generation could have played 20 years ago. Come on, bro. That's false, man. I, I know you were in the league and you playing, but I just don't see that with the athleticism, the physicality of the guys that I just named, the ability of the guys that I just named, shooting prowess, dribbling ability. You don't think Kyrie Irving could have played 20 years ago, brother, the way he handles the rock, the way he finishes around the rim, the way he can get streaky with shooting, the way, again, he can alter shots midair and protect the ball from the rim protectors. You don't think he could have played 20 years ago? Like, this is what I be talking about. I'm like, come on, fam. Like, like, nah, bro, we not. <laughs> and when I say Allen Iverson was killing him, I'm not trying to act like Allen, Allen Iverson was a scrub. He's a phenomenal. He was he was a dog, one of my favorite players. But again, like AI was not as fast as Derek. He was not as strong as Derek. He was not. AI couldn't have guarded D Rose. And Allen know that. AI know that. So like, come on, let's just let's just stop it. Let's stop the disrespect between both generations. And just say, hey, we got great we had great players then. We got great players now. Some of it I know would transfer. Some of them may not be able to transfer. Like Luca, as great as he is offensively, the way he don't play no defense, yeah, and people, a lot of them coaches would have been like, yo, what the hell? <laughs> you know what I mean? But offensively, he still is a juggernaut. Same way Nikola Jokic is a juggernaut offensively with, the, with his passing ability, the way he can score around the rim, his shooting touch, like all of that, man, high IQ, Rebounding ability. Come on, man. Let's let's not do that. Let's not do that, KG. Machiavelli Mills TV. I'm out, y'all. Peace. I hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I thank y'all for rocking with me the way y'all do. I'm out.